Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I forgot I wanted to talk about Trina. So, you know, everybody pretty much knows the whole thing that happened with Trina and her A&R person, and then the drama with Nicki Minaj. Um, listen, my opinion may be a little bit different from other people's. That's fine. We all have our own opinion. This is how I look at the situation. I'm not exactly sure what people expected Trina to say or do on the live. I'm not sure if y'all wanted her to get on and drag Nicki Minaj up and down South Beach. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I think that Trina did what any other person would have done, which is try her hardest to clean up the situation. Now, unfortunately, unfortunately for Trina, she doesn't have the same team as like uh, Beyonce, where, girl, this would have never happened with Beyonce. Um, but she doesn't have the same team as like the Rihannas and the Beyonce's where they could tell other people to go out there and clean this mess up. She had to pretty much get in front of it and clean it up herself, even though she didn't really make the mess. Um, I still stand by what I said. I think she should fire everybody in her team. Um, it shouldn't have even got to this point. Um, truth be told, does Trina probably feel the way that her A&R person and Bobby Lights said? I haven't really paid attention to Bobby Lights, but does Trina really feel some type of way about Nicki Minaj and the whole Meg Thee Stallion and the promotion and girl, you helped this girl out and you didn't help me out? Yeah, she probably does. I'm sure she's probably had some conversations with her team. I'm sure she's had conversations about, oh my God. Look at Nikki over here on Meg. You know, they got this song video and then we supposed, you see what I'm saying? So I think that Trina does feel some type of way, but why would y'all expect her to come onto live, then drag Nikki, somebody who pretty much did her a favor? Let's be honest. How much do you think the Nicki Minaj's and the Rihanna's and the Beyonce's of the world charge people to be on a song? And the simple fact that Nicki Minaj did this for free, she did it for free because Trina said out of her own mouth that everybody on her album basically did it for free. What did y'all expect her to say? She did, the, she did the same thing that everybody else would have done. Let's just say it's my fault. Let's just take ownership and then move on. Again, does she probably feel that way? Probably not. <laughs> There's a chance that she doesn't. But again, did y'all really expect for Trina to get on live and just bash Nicki Minaj? Like, we're not going to sit here and act like, Nick, like Trina is this big world superstar. So you want Trina to get on live, bash all these people, put the blame on everybody else, drag Nicki Minaj up and down uh, Miami Beach, and then what's going to happen after that? Because clearly, y'all are not buying her album. Her albums are the last album that came out. So she's going she's gonna to create all this chaos and confusion within the, in, within the industry. Shit on all these people who have did her a favor by being on her album for free. And then what y'all going to do after that? Get your life because somebody drugged Nicki Minaj? Now... Truth be told, she didn't have to do a lie. <laughs> she could have just put that, because she could have just sent out a Twitter message for what she said, if you want to be honest about it. I mean, I expect a little bit more, but at the end of the day, like when you really sit down and think about it, like she did what she was supposed to do. She did what any, she did what any big artist who has a big team behind them would have done, tried to clean up the mess. Girl, we good, we love Nikki. Girl, Nikki is one of the biggest stars in the world. And on top of that, her and Trina are friends. Again, I think that Trina needs to fire her entire team. It shouldn't have even got to this point. There is no, at the end of the day, when you have a team, your team represents you. So if your team is coming out saying some things and you know that that's not how you roll, somebody's getting, like Beyonce said, somebody getting fired tonight. Somebody's not going to have a job. It's that simple. His a Bobby, whatever her A and R person, the person who I guess she's paying on the payroll, he had no business going out there speaking. 
Shout out to fucking Aniva for getting that interview though. But he had no business going out there saying the things that he said. Because at the end of the day, everybody, including me, looking at Trina like, girl, that's how you feel? You didn't say it. But somebody that represents you said it. So we all assume that that's how you feel. This wouldn't, have, this wouldn't have not happened if your the person who is employed by you wouldn't have opened his mouth. I mean, Trina was on live, baby, eating shrimp with that Versace robe on and drinking champagne. Yes, ma'am, in front of that star, in front of that starter, uh, that starter home cabinet set she had. I said, "Come on, cabinet." I said, "I think my mom and I got them same cabinets in the house." <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that girl. Um, but I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, I think the situation is pretty much done. I mean, there's nothing really else to talk about. Uh, Trina said what she said. Um, she said what she said. I'm not team nobody because this ain't, this ain't nothing to be team nobody on. Um, I'm glad that Trina, Trina handled the situation as fast as she could, as best as she could. Um, she took ownership. Again, she probably has a different opinion behind the camera, um, but I wouldn't expect her. You can call it fake and phony all day long, um, but why would Trina get on live and damage, you know, her reputation, basically shit on people who have done her a favor because Nicki Minaj didn't have to do that record for free. Um... She didn't have to do it at all. Let's be. Let's just be very clear. Nicki Minaj does not need Trina. Um, I do have questions like, like Trina, you've been in the game for a very, very, very long time. So I need to know how are you still making these mistakes? I don't. You don't need. To, I just want to know, like, how are you still making these mistakes? when this is something that you should know like the back of your hand. You see what I'm saying? I feel like it would be something different if Trina had ventured into something new, a, a new, a new, um, like probably she wanted to start some, I don't know, restaurant business. I don't know. And she made a mistake like, oh my God, I didn't know this was going to be as hard as it was, you know, I didn't know this was going to be this hard. But I would think with you being a rapper, for 20, 25, 30 years, however long you've been a rapper girl, that you will pretty much know, like, okay, I've made these mistakes, so right now, 25 years later, like, boom, I'm good. Yeah, you might make little mistakes here and there, but not to the point where everything, like this whole album that you said you worked on for five years, pretty much was a flop. Your A&R person is blaming everybody but, but y'all. I still stand by what I said about the whole Nicki Minaj thing. Like at the end of the day, Nicki Minaj, she got she hopped, she hopped on the song. I didn't even know the hell it did it for free. She did it for free. She promoted you on Queen Radio. She put the goddamn song on her, on her story. What else y'all want her to do? That's not her album. That's not her song. Yeah, she hopped on Meg shit because Meg is hot right now. <laughs> Let's just be honest. Meg is hot. They got the number. They done made history together. They got the number one song on iTunes. I think the first ever, the first song ever for two female rappers to be on that hit number, that hit number one. So they breaking records. Girl, Baps, Bops, Baps, <laughs> Baps came and went. Girl, I'm sorry, Trina. Trina, maybe, maybe, maybe it's I don't know. Maybe you should try to do like what Yo Yo do. Like try to be like a mentor to like the girls. The young girls who are coming up, the young rappers. I don't know what you're gonna do, Trina. Um, but I do think you need to fire your team. Like I don't want anybody to be un in the unemployment line or the food stamp office. But at the end of the day, like your team should know better. Your team should know that when they say something, people are gonna look at you. People are looking at looking at you like, well, shit. If he's saying it, then Trina must feel the same way too. So now. Anyways, girl, Trina, you know, we like you. We wish you well. Um, hopefully, you've learned from this. Um, hopefully, your cousin Bobby Lights will shut the hell up. Oh, he released something too. Fuck it. I never had said something about him coming back basically 
uh, sending these messages like, oh, he knows. Like, basically, kind of low-key saying that Trina was lying. Like I said, she probably was. Bobby, shut up. You're not making the situation no better. Bobby, you Bobby, you still trying to get on. Like, I, I think Bobby needs to shut up, honestly. Bobby, sh you may be telling the truth, Bobby. You may be telling the truth, but you're not making Trina's situation any better. If you really cared about Trina, you would shut the fuck up. We all pretty much know anybody with a little bit of common sense probably knows that that's how how that A and R the whatever the A and R person said to Funk and Ineva, that's probably what Trina said to him. But I don't think she expected him to go out and do this interview. Anyways, I'm done, y'all. Bye.